reveal your secrets. Reveal your secrets. Hello, everybody. We finally made it. Reveal your secrets. I was supposed to be on a lot earlier today, but I was working on so many different projects and getting so many things done that I lost track of the time. And then for a moment, I did forget that I was not in college anymore. <laughs> anyway, we are back finally. And as you can see, I got my Hogwarts letter. There it is, right in front of me. Reveal your secrets. I'm so excited. It only took too many years to finally get mine, but there it is. By the way, bet you never thought you'd see a unicorn in a cloak before. This is uh, different, I have to say. Ooh, I've already got a claim. I got a drop. All right, let's do this. Let's see what this game's all about. I know some people have already got a huge head start, but I am super ready to finally get going on this. I plan on playing late. Oh, already got to jump right in. Let's see. I don't even know where to begin. All right, a lot of customization. Yeah, why not? Well, we're going into high customization. Looks about right. Red cheeks like me. I'll take it. Does he wear glasses? Yeah, why not? Hairstyle. <laughs> well, I'm going to go for the real thing. Except I don't see the real thing. I always wanted to go. Yeah, I'll do that. Scars and markings. Ooh. He fought Wolverine. <clears throat> I'm like super excited to finally get into this game. I've been waiting a long time. So I'm going to go no scars. We do gotta add those red cheeks, though. What? What just happened?
How often does one look at eyebrows? go all out. I can go with that. Huh. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. That, that was quite something. Oh, you can even change your voice. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. All right, I'm going to start with... Focus on store with minimal. Uh -huh. I'm gonna start with normal. All right. What should I call my character? I don't know. I have no idea where to even begin on that. Uh. I'm gonna have an Oliver in my life. Last name. Oliver Bradbury at your service. All right, I'll take it. We'll see what happens next. Hmm, any last minute changes? We're good. All right, let's do it. You don't get to choose houses or anything? I guess that happens later. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me. Tell me. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar, George. Glad my rather cryptic description. I'm gonna love this game. I can already tell. Finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. I could do that. Just go. <laughs> I'm so excited.
caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. What's up with this guy? Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I don't like him. Something's off. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this it was the last thing she sent me Eleazar. it came to me via her owl but with no correspondence i can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe presumably from ranrock i cannot open it whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed it looks like goblin metal that symbol what's that glow I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. What? Hang on. What in the world? Oh, my friend. Wiganwell potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Oh. 
far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Oh, this is going to be Thank great. Always check the road less traveled for stuff. Did I get anything? We're close now. It's just ahead. Steady yourself! Wow, 
Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? I'm the party pooper. What's this? <laughs> Professor Fig. Yes, you are, Isaiah. Let's get some more people in here. Let's get some conversations going. It's a new place, a new game. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Cool. Hello? Oh, maybe they're busy. I'm gonna be on for a long time, though. A long time. <coughs> Just a moment. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Hi, buddy. You gave me 50 Robert bits, but you obviously didn't read the latest. Precisely. Check it out. Check it out, rat boy. I made one final change, and I got my moderator to approve it before I did. This way, then. Stay close. After you. But I knew you'd make an appearance. I knew you'd get on here. <laughs> Keep your hands Why? Your if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> I see you. How many volts are there? Oh. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vote. Man, you can tell they put some As time into this game. Oh, shut up, rat boy. Yes, Isaiah, I got five hours. Your favorite person got on and dropped some bits. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. I'm waiting for the day someone drops the big one that I added. Oh. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. 
It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it. These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? I haven't chosen a house yet. Twelve was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. I guess when I get to Hogwarts, it'll ask me to choose houses. I don't know. I will say, in real life, <laughs> the unicorn is a Gryffindor, but I, the gamer, am a Slytherin. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Ooh, that's a good question, Isaiah. I'm not sure. I'll answer more of those type of questions the more I play the game, but uh, I don't know. The fact that you can wave your wand and clean up something really fast without having to actually move like uh, Miss Weasley did in one of the movies, yeah, that, that's a good one. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm just getting started, but you can tell they put some time into this game. Here we are. The only thing I've done so far is customize my character. That's it. And I'm just now getting going. <laughs> Unlike Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> hey, we still play it. It's fun. We got a lot of laughs and screams out of it. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Vault 12, thank you for your help. Man, I'm about to put so much time into this game. I cannot wait to get this stuff going. I'm like super excited. So I got something like 71 coins so far. Can I go back and look over here and see if there's anything? Nope, nothing. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. <laughs> All right. Professor? <laughs> worst nightmare, worst nightmare. certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes. A revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Steady your wand with the mouse and guide it along the symbol to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the sim. Okay. I don't get it. All right. and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, 
then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos. Yeah, we just keep going this from place no to place. Vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort What's of your class? favorite character in Harry Potter? I do. But <sighs> I can't say. Stay close. There will be no That's a tough one, Isaiah. That's a real tough one for me. I I have to think about that one. That's a really tough one. There's a lot of good characters in that story. Revelio. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hey, I just scored a drop. For those watching, you get drops while uh, you... Watch it. So if you ever start playing this game, you get DLCs with it. There must be something to that reflection you're Rebellion. seeing. Rebellion. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there. You should get this, Rat Boy. You should get this. Start playing it. The Wait. longer you watch my stream, the longer you get DLC content you can add to it. Of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. All right, here we go again. Go! Oh, that was close. I gotta get used to that. <laughs> oh, thanks for the slap. Slot into your spell set. Most creator. Okay. Lumos, well done. Oh, we gotta use now numbers in this game. Is turning towards <clears throat> me. It does follow the light. Get this cord out of my way. Oh, this game's gonna be fun, full of puzzles and stuff like Zelda. Oh boy. Is this the trial by fire? Yep. Well, oh, I'm gonna have to learn these spells. I gotta light my keys up too. Take him all the way across the map. That gummit. Basic cast. Okay. I messed that up. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? 
The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Here we go again. Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh, great. All right, all right. Getting the hang of this. Hold Q during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counting counterattack. Oh, good to know. Information that would have been useful to me yesterday! Oh, hello. Oh, Mayday. Oh, I forgot I'm not playing Elden Ring. <laughs> How do I? Oh, heal. There we go. I couldn't remember the button. Oh, come on. Anybody else? My all-time favorite game, Isaiah? Or are you asking me like by system? My all-time favorite game would probably have to be uh, Lumos. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. After that, probably The Last of Us Part 2. Nova! He has five favorite game. Uh, does it count if I say Last of Us Part Two? Because as I played it on there. Oh, sorry, Nova. I guess something. Uh, hang on. Let me fix something real quick. My cloud bot's a little, uh, he's like a really strict professor right now. One second. All right, that should have fixed it. <laughs> Sorry about that, Nova. I just set this uh, cloud bot up and I'm still getting it all figured out. Uh, there you are. How 
did you? I sub, but it didn't show up. Oh, appreciate that. What is this? Place? Sorry, I, I like I said, I just started that cloud bot today, and I'm still working through the tweaks and stuff. Basin. Oh wait, that means I gotta do the clock. Ah, basin. hang on. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Two months. What? So I have to add two hours then. Ugh. I'm gonna be buried in this thing. It's just how I, I'm just gonna have to accept it. <laughs> Shut up, rat boy. Nobody asked you. Hydrate, bitch. <laughs> and Shibby tell me to hydrate. Oh, you only shut for one month. Okay, well, 60 minutes is 60 minutes, so I stopped it. Gonna set the timer. One second. Hang on, let me get this up to 360. Alright, we're up to six hours now. Uh, Isaiah Mondello comes from a name I created when I was, no joke, 16 years old. Let me share my nerd card. I, uh, I did it by coming up with a Sith name. All my friends were Jedis when we used to do cosplay type stuff and I came up with the name Lord Mondello cool Nova thanks for the sub man and there are the sharks you all be happy to know that I did start doing the unicorn bi uh, bitmojis you might have access to some of them hey Shibby no worries surrounded them yes sir astonishing I see magic traces. Yep, there's one of them. An ancient magic, to be precise. The really good the ones are still pending approval. Always believed existed. All good. I'm but just get really getting started. Miriam and perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. <clears throat> and you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were, we were different. There's some new animated ones that I'm waiting to appear, Someone's but I got to get some more subscribers first. Who were they? I don't know. Yes, Isaiah. Uh, Drops are enabled right now, so the longer you watch, the more content you get. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes <laughs> me. I was beginning nice, to rat boy. No one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I, I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Oh, come on, man. Why you gotta be like that, bro? I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? Hey, I'm not I don't mind them anything. delaying it as long as the game plays well. Well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. So far, I've only had a couple of uh, frozen moments, but nothing major. Well, he's pleasant. Well, all right.
See, sometimes when it transitions, it gets a little jumpy, but then it Are catches right? up. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Which house is my favorite? Where well, are we? when I took the test, I came out as a Gryffindor, but I choose Slytherin. It seems those who said Hence, the, the Gryffindor hoodie I got at Universal Studios, but I'm going to go back and get my Slytherin one. Wanted someone with the you unicorn is a Gryffindor. I am a Slytherin. Which is why I got to get this unicorn outfit off. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Ah, the sorting ceremony. There it is. Oh, this is awesome. There she is. Hogwarts. Probably not, Isaiah. Even Rat Boy can't spoil this moment. I've barely played this game, and I can already tell you they're probably going to rec recommend this being one of the games of the years. <laughs> no! Hydrate, bitch! I just did! And just in case, I know I'm going to be here for a long time tonight. I got a backup water bottle. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, Reveal but the secrets. appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Yes. Finally. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins, I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Oh, he's a treat. If you're lucky, we might still <laughs> the be patients I have left. I like how he enunciated that. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Reveal secrets. Professor Weasley. We've one more to be sorted. Professor Welcome. Weasley. You're just in time. Have a seat. All right, here we go. Come on, Slytherin. Come on, Slytherin. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others. A aren't bit you? older than the others. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. No, she didn't. How much, Shibby? Uh. Ah, thank you, Isaiah. I do want to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm, indeed. 
Nice. Can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. How much uh, store credit Your would they offer you? Have a great deal to teach you as well. Just out of curiosity. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. No, no, no. I don't want Gryffindor. Oh, yeah, take the cash. Uh... Nope, choose a different house. Stick a Gryffindor. Yes. There it is. Cunning, ambition, and a hunger for power. <laughs> In real life, I'm not like that, but, you know, whatever. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. The unicorn will not win this round. You belong in Slytherin. Hydrate, bitch. Hold on, let me have my moment. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you to all the wizards and witches out there. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? Enough. <laughs> They're probably it's saving that for a I DLC. Flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. That's it. I'm getting a Slytherin sure robe. Have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I miss Dumbledore. Come Look on, at him. Where in the green? It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. A cloak's getting caught on everything. Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Aspiration. Ooh. Man, I wonder what Ravenclaw well looks done. like with the feathers and stuff. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. <laughs> Sleep well. I would not be sleeping. Lips are chapping. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. But, 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 I want to look around first. Can I have a four-poster bed with the Slytherin symbol on it? Please. I really don't require much in life. Rebellion. Of course, Sith. And the details in this game. I 
suppose some introductions are in order. A new fifth year. Must be different, starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Wonder where they're from. They're lucky they didn't end up at Dragon Ball. How do you know that? Can't imagine yourself being used to this place. A little room, everyone. Let them through. <laughs> Can I help you? Hydrate, oh. bitch! You're the new <laughs> fifth year. Yes. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks of course not are you saying some spells aren't taught at hogwarts which ones seems i may have met a kindred spirit <laughs> that is a conversation for another time it was good meeting you good luck today And now I can see why they put so much time. I kept on pushing it back. This game is beautiful. Mm, if you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Hmm. What game have you always uh, wanted but has never been made? Here, are you? Here. Hang on. Watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of nah. the dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to. She must be the Slytherin version of Hermione. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Uh, what game have you always wanted but has never been made? There's a book series I've read called The Dark Tower, and that would probably be an epic, very long set of games and DLCs. They do get uh, quite a bit of... I forgot. Uh, when you uh, subscribe, you do get quite a bit of channel points. You might even get a thousand. I don't remember. I, I think I heard one. But you have to do the subscribing, not someone bed. gifting you a subscription. That's the difference. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. 
I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. I can only imagine. Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure-blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Reveal your secrets. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Oh, he's booking it. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. <laughs> I've been dreaming. I'd like to keep you on your toes, time. Shibby. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique Hang on a second, Isaiah. Joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exam. Ooh, I just got a, uh, another they drop. determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. I want a book that can do that. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Most likely, Isaiah. Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Uh, yes, Isaiah, J. Binkley 1212. He's my brother. Uh, and right now, I, I know earlier he was playing, uh, something like the field guide when he's, he was playing Fortnite earlier. Using the guide will also train you to be alert for your surroundings. Rebellion. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about... But yes, I do intend to do so, stream tomorrow. I got a very late start tonight. I meant to play a whole lot longer today. Up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Nessie!
<laughs> I can see that, Isaiah. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Wait a minute, I wasn't done yet. Right, I have gear. Nice. I think this is what I got for uh, um, just watching or playing the game. One of the things that dropped. I'm going to point to the yeah, thing on to those. A hat. Oh, a flat cap. See, now we're talking. Now we are talking. It's like a leather version of mine, except mine's black. I wish I could wear it on the stream, but... Alas, I have to wear this unicorn outfit, so it's going to be a long time before I get to wear that again. Eh, nope. Oh no, I'm wearing my cloak. Man, there's a lot to do in this game. All right. Let's get to it. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Rebellion. I'm going to be doing Rebellion like every hundred feet. opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker oh great your field guide contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall
Okay. A and D to rotate. Okay. Oh. All right. So interactive. Reveal your secret. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost Rebellion. anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Sleep. Oh, that okay. should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard, and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade I want to go to Hogsmeade. is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. I feel like I just snitched. Speak of the devil. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details <sighs> of the field guide's map? Of course. Oh, I Thank can't you. put on my cloak hood. <laughs> the horn's getting in the way. Good luck. Oh well. Today. And remember to use your field guide. 
It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right. Let's do some exploring, yo. Oh, wait. I don't want to talk to him yet. I saw something over here, and I want to see it again. Rebellion. How do I get... How does one get in there? Lumos. Rebellion. Oh. Another time, I guess. Rebellion. I hear it. I think I hear it. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Now, yeah, one second, I accidentally turned off some of my lights on my keys, and I gotta see what I'm doing. There they go. All right, where was I? In track available quest from the map. As much as I want to do Defense Against the Dark Arts, I want to do Charms first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with One down. and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Right. Let's see where we go next. games where they actually have something that points you the right way Rebellion. but I am definitely someone who's going to do a lot of exploring a 
No, I should go. Whoa, what the? Is that a ghost? That was a ghost. Had to have been. Whoops. <laughs> By sheer accident. Oh, ghost. <laughs> Aha. I can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. All right, well now I found that I could use that later. Okay. A little lost. Professor Roman We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. I do look forward to Some of us don't necessarily holiday. want him to get back to the lesson. The best I've ever had. My older brothers were all sorted into Ravenclaw. See treasure chest, but I've always said that travel broadens the mind. The minister for magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says. Oh wait, I've heard something about these doors. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a yeah, I don't. I think there's a map or something you're supposed to find that help determine the Stop it, Peeves. You'll get way of doing trouble. this, trouble, but I don't have it yet. Okay. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flag. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot, and it wasn't flag. Peeves. You're trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Eves looks like he walked out of Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. Chairs in the common room. Rebellion. Aha, it's up there. But how does one get up there? Which means another one should be. Oh, okay, it's here. Yep, right behind that door. I know, I know, I gotta go to charms class, but I'm, I'm curious. Oh, well, hello! That's Sir Nicholas. Just a little bit further. Rebellion. How nice to see you, my young friend.
All muggles, mind you. Alright, I guess I'll go to Charms class. Sometimes, depends on the movie. For me, it has to have a really good story, though. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. Reveal your secrets. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall Reveal. we begin? <laughs> Welcome Secrets. to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. That is an extremely uh, hard question. Before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I uh, one of them, Isaiah, is a movie now. called The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Oh, it's like normal class. The teacher asks a question. Well, Nothing. Stares. Like need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, here we go. Accio. That, that's a spell I wish I had. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. After me. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? 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 
Hmm. Favorite Harry Potter movie? That would probably be Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, okay. I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best professor. I wasn't paying attention that much. Done. This is going to be bad. All right, the summoning charm. Accio pulls a target closer to the caster. Tap the assigned key to cast. Yeah, that's how I feel. And pull a target closer. Tap the key again to cease casting the spell. All right, here we go. Accio. That's it. Ah. To the best of us. Stop, 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 stop! No! Oh. I could do better. I want to go again. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What? Wow. Okay. I'm gonna get the hang of this. That's it. Let us see you. There we go. No, nope, too much, too much. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Nicely done. Here we go. Hang on. That is how it's done. Can I knock her off though? Akio. No. Ah. Very good. I accidentally knocked her on the fifty. I kind of don't like it how the game is based off a hundred years before Harry Potter was born. I actually don't mind that. So many different versions of Harry Potter with facing Voldemort and all that has been done in books and video games and stuff. I like that it's something fresh. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Too much, too much. Ah, oh. don't lose your composure. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? Oh, we're gonna have a rematch. It better let me have a rematch. There we go. Stop! Keep trying. Oh. Here we go. I demand a rematch. That is how it's done. Do not think I will start going easy on you. I'm just pulling too hard. Stay focused. Uh, rematch. Possibly, yes. Very good, both of you. Well done. I want a rematch. 
I must go again. Reveal your secrets. You're not gonna let me do that? Come on, give me a rematch. I feel dumb. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. All right, one second, y'all. Trying to send a picture to someone who asked me what my character looked like. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Dramatic? Who is that behind me? Me in the game? It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise. Revelio, you know it won't work on humans. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I There's did. no one behind me in real life. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well... An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai I bet you is were. always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now... Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Rebellion.
Nice. Legendary cape. Alright, stream, give me just a moment. I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick, get me some more water, and I will be right back. Reveal your secrets.
reveal your secrets. All right, I'm back. I accidentally hit the mute button. The unicorn isn't going anywhere. It's got almost five hours left. I'm deter I guess I'm going to be buried in this thing, all thanks to Rat Boy. Let's get some people in here, Isaiah. Let's call them up. Let's get some chats going. All right, let's see. Field guy got claim reward. Oh, hits it shifted. Ah, don't have any people on your phone. Oh, well, no worries. I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'm just happy to play this game. Alter my gear or what? Nope. Okay. All right, let's do this. Reveal your secrets. Level one. All right. I tried. Hello there. You're the new student. I want to rematch you? that game. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in Yes, charms. exactly, Isaiah. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. All right. Rebellion. There, but I can't get to it. At least not yet. Wait, okay. Supposed to go this way. Rebellion. 
another one of those places. Hydrate, bitch! Yes, I got you. I should be uh, thinking for my Slytherin cup I have, but maybe next time. Or whatever that is, I haven't figured it out yet. Heard something. Oh wait, I gotta I think I don't think I can open these. Yep, nope. I gotta come back. I have to get a I think I heard something about you have to be invisible. Indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Not bad. be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Starting with something small. Oh. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Leviosa. Yeah, I wish I could do this in real life. Now, let's that would be so nice. Larger. Right? Ah, here we go. Let us begin with the basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. <laughs> oh, she's feisty. Levioso. Good. Well done. All right, combos. Very good. But the best 
way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh. oh this should be... Protego. Protego. Complicates things. I know. <laughs> Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick. I do enjoy a life of duels. Don't all my students for this day. That was fun. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot. And you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Oh, I'm Thank sure it hurts. Second. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough no. for one day. Tom Riddle I'll wasn't born message. yet. Stream, give me just a second. I gotta fix up on my computer. It should be just about 60 seconds or so. Be right back. Reveal your secrets. Hydrate, bitch! Yeah, yeah. Reveal your secrets. Actually, I'm just gonna have to fix it right here because it won't let me do it any other way. One second. And yes, I got your hydrate. Next time I play, I'm going to play with my Slytherin cup. That Julie gave me. I forgot to get it tonight. Second. Alright, done. Alright, back to it. Reveal your secret. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Actually, there's something else I gotta fix. So sorry, stream. Had this new layout. <laughs> Shun the non believers. Shun. Shun the non believers. Shun. Shun. Nah. It's the na nah at the end that cracks me up. Hang on one second. Reveal your secrets. Something wrong with my chat on one of my scenes. I'll have to fix it later. Rebellion. Can I even get in that door? Level one lock, of course. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. You dueled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Yeah, that's how it goes, Isaiah. The longer you watch, the more channel points you get. If, you, if you're if you the one that actually subscribes, you get nice the points. But if someone gives it to you like Rat Boy did for you, you just you get the subscription. I enjoyed that. Well, that Plus a few more emotes. Something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. 
didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. <laughs> I've jeweled enough. I guess I'm you better ones coming. Lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, yes, they are sanctioned jeweling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. Of course. If you want to get the most, he doesn't have much hair, but what Harry does have is green. To also, to break the rules now and then, whether it's joining a secret jeweling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever right. enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck. Or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. If you're interested. Till next time. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Or do I want to see something real quick? Change appearance. Oh. Oh. I want this in real life. That is epic. Oh, that's cool too. But you know I'm going to go black. Like I gotta show a little bit of the green, but no. Let's do this for a bit. What the devil? Oh. That's tempting, but I'm still gonna stick with my flat cap. getting somewhere. I don't know if I want that though. And even the gloves are cool. Okay, I gotta text Julie back, let her know I figured out how to do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry, Shannon, I feel kind of bad now. Ew, no. Interesting. More interesting.
I wish I can get like a actual picture worthy shot of my character. Because no facial hair. Yeah, I really want to get a. I wish I could put facial hair on him, but alas. Rum had facial hair. Yeah, I know. That's why all the ladies loved him. One second. Yeah, it could be like that. Except the Willy Wonkas in my show won't have that. Sorry, right, one second. All right, enough of that. Let's get down to business to defeat dark arts. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. All right. I need to find that map so I can unlock on stuff. Another adventure, are we? Not exactly. And this cloak is epic. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Rebellion. That's a nifty trick. That'd be funny. Reveal your secrets. Rebellion. The haunted toilets. <laughs> ah, peeves. Somebody I wish was in the movies more. As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boys' lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peeves, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. 
But he failed us in his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swing. Right, I agree. Am I in the witch's room? I'm totally in the witch's room. Wait, it's gloves. Oh. I mean, this looks like a librarian's area. Pillows, somewhere to eat. The books stacked up. Definitely, definitely not a place where, uh, I don't know. Plenty of reading material. I'm telling the principal you're in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Just doing a bit of exploring. Rebellion. Lachlan, the lanky. He's quite proud of himself, but for what precisely, no one knows. Rebellion. I almost like those better. Now I see to my dark arts gloves. Seriously, I want this cloak. Even the details on the sleeves are awesome. Let's see. Isaiah says, if you see any eyeball chest, use an invisibility spell or else you can't get the 500 gold because if it sees you, it just locks up and you can't open it. Yeah, I heard something about that. Um, I just don't have the invisibility spell yet. In due time. In due time. All right, where am I going? Rebellion.
Open the door. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Before I do. Okay. Wait a minute. Aha! Sorry. I answer somebody real quick. There we go. Reveal your secrets. All right, what am I doing here? Ooh. Rebellion. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels across once. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? <laughs> I can see that. Of course. Dueling's it does kind of look like Mark. Time. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in Why the not? Room. Let's see if I get my butt handed to me. Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Alright, break through yellow shields with control spells like levitation spell, leviosa, target locks. Ah, the cat's lock, okay. <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to die because I wasn't paying attention. That was close. Glad I didn't bet on that round. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. I need There's a heal. strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back right. here again. Hmm, what should I do next? Revelio.
Ooh, football curses. No. Soon. Level one lock, blah, blah, blah. Why you gotta tease me? Why are you bully me? Rebellion. Accio. Say blah blah blah. Revelio. There's one there. Silver spectacles. Let us see how these look. Oh, they add defense. Won't change the appearance of them though. I like that you can change the appearance because, you know, you don't have to get stuck wearing the things you don't like. Everything's locked. Dead gummit. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Just wait till I've grown a bit, then we'll see how well you do. Let me go. My life is behind me, I promise. Lumos. Levioso. Akio. Well, wherever that is, I can't do it. I know I probably should be using flu powder, but I'm exploring. Rebellion. Let me go. Accio. What are you up to now? I fell asleep in transfiguration. Professor Weasley woke me up, and I had to wander all over my bed. I am lost, trying to figure it all out. I know I have to go down according to the map, and there's thieves. Guess I can't hurt him. Oh, my 
Revelio. Not a one of them deserves more than a T. Awful when they ask you a question now, isn't it? Crummy <laughs> little faces. I'll just die. Nice. There's a couple of them on here, but I haven't unlocked all the other ones yet. I didn't know what all to put on there. Let me pause for just a second. Yeah, Shibby, I did the chatbot thing, and there's quite a bit you can type in, but some of them, uh, I don't, I didn't know what else to put in just yet. Some of the standard ones are there, um, yeah. <laughs> ah, you found my bits to play sounds. Very nice. Seriously. <laughs> Isaiah is so paying forward the gift they got from Rat Boy to the community. <laughs> you just sub somebody? <laughs> Thank you, Isaiah. Oh, wait a minute. That means I gotta. Ah, hang on. I gotta up it to five hours again. One second. Fix the clock. There we go. All right, we're back up to five hours again. All right, seriously, which way do I go? I'm lost. Life is good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Rebellion. I forgot what I'm supposed to do to go somewhere. There we go. I just didn't track it. All right, now I'm good. Rebellion. Thank you for the sub, Isaiah. I'm only what one away from room? making my 30 person goal. I was thinking the same oh. thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Hey. Shun the non believer. Ah. Shun. 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 Yeah. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. 
Regardless, <laughs> you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies I will send you to on Jesus. your way here, including seeds, <laughs> potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander... I will send you to Jesus. You a ...perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm ready to get my own wand. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Reveal. Professor Shop asks that they secrets. have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I think I got some work to do on my stream. Reveal. Secrets. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Shippy, you can try different uh, commands to see if they work. Uh, I just didn't pull it up. Actually, if you give me a sec, I can tell you exactly what I have. Ah! One moment. One second stream. All right. Should be about to send you something so you can see what I was talking about. Uh, it's a picture. You have, you have to zoom in. That's what I've got on there so far. All right, here we go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Let's go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather Including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus wow. Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No I haven't heard that one yet. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Rebellion. Samsung notification. Wow. Uh, I think with blurps, uh, you could actually set up a walk on, like when you log on to my stream it plays a sound um there's one i've been We're trying to set up and i haven't done it yet you are og 
two years, 24 days, three hours. Yeah, can you imagine that I actually did my first stream two years ago and then I just stopped using Twitch for a while? Micah had me convinced that I had to do Facebook and I tried to go YouTube and then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to come back to Twitch. And I've loved every minute of it. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly Two years, useful 24 one days. The Does not feel like that. Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. <laughs> A number of your professors have Wanna agreed to do from so the as well. But first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I already have, I have that scream for today. and one of my channel Take point stuff. And then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right. Collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page in the defense against the Dark Arts Tower. Rebellion. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got it. Yeah. I completed something on the field guide. <laughs> it does work. I told you I put, why do you think it took me so long to get on today? I worked up a whole new layout for my stream. I worked on the chat bot. I ran into so many mistakes and had to learn. And there's still things on the stream I have to fix. Is the douche playing right now? He's playing when I'm done. I don't know if he will be. I'm going to be playing this for a while. Maybe we'll raid him. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Two months, 10 days, 43 minutes. You go, Nova. Wait, I went the wrong way. Rebellion. I got it! Watch time? I don't have that one. You're gonna have to, like, send me a list of ones to do and I'll figure it out. I came here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And chew a lot of gum. And I have a lot of gum. Nine messages were deleted by moderator. Why'd it do that? Oh, the language. Ah, hang on a second. Like I said, I'm still figuring some of this out. I turned off that preference, so now I can do other stuff. So what is a... Uh, what is watch list or whatever? GameCube fart. <laughs> Let me do that. Watch time. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
Isaiah is having a little too much fun. I don't know what watch time is. I haven't added that to the thing yet. Oh. Well. How does one find that? Hang on. I'm on it right now. Give me one second. How would you, like, add that? I see where I add, I added one. Like, for example, if I did this one, if I did Unicorn, it does okay, this. I, like it, Picasso. I made that one myself. But I don't know how to do the watch time thing you're talking about. I trust the preliminary tasks won't. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. Hello there. You clearly know Hello your there. Well basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Welcome. Now, Cuckoo. Wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember. Your Why so serious? Magic. Why so serious? Wanna know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker. Oh, no, no, no. Don't make me destroy you. Don't make me destroy you. Used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Very nice. That's it. Very good. Hello. If you would How like are to you? practice I am under the water. have a go with that Please broken me. statue You're in the alcove by the water. It allegedly Play symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Revelio. All right, what around here needs mending? I seriously want this cloak oh so bad. Somebody finds this, I need you to send me the link to it because I want it. It's my precious. Ooh, top of the class scarf. Sounds wonderful. Yes, let's go to Hogsmeade, get my wand. Oh, going the wrong way. Rebellion. You get nothing. You lose. Willy Good Wonka. Day, you get nothing. Good day, sir. I knew it was Wonka the moment I heard it. Oh, I've got to find that map. Ooh, what is this? A little side area. Rebellion. You got issues, man. You got issues. Well, look at this library. Hmm. Bell and Beauty and the Beast would be quite jealous. Heck, I'm jealous. Rebellion. 
<laughs> it's the horn! You know, every time you're spending bits, you're spending money, right? Just, just want to be clear. I mean, it's only a quarter, so whatever. Uh, what am I missing? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me. Lenora. That's a cool name. At the moment, everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks utterly I'm balmy. Yes, Brady. This painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. I tried that. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. There's something wrong with the Isaiah. As good a place as any to begin. Stream Raiders to your stream. Is that that little game that Nova plays? When they look, could be intriguing. What exactly does that do? Long enough. I know it gives like I something else for the watchers to do, but past that, I mean, what is it? Do come and find me if you stumble on something. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay. Down here. Rebellion. Statue. Come on, surely the first one is supposedly easier to find. It's just a game that you can play with your viewers. It's fun and adds more interaction with your stream. Thanks. I got you, Isaiah. I'll take anything other than Michael spamming us to death last night with the sharks. Oh, you missed that one, Shibby. Uh, I'll have to get it. Ah, uh, Ron Swanson. Rebellion. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Rebellion. Don't make me destroy you. Don't make me destroy you. There you go. I'll raise you, Isaiah. Say, don't make me destroy you. I am your father. He kept bouncing between you and douche. Oh! I feel... The douche. I mean, I'd totally be watching him right now, but. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. No, he didn't just do that. He uh, he jumped between me, Micah, and uh, his buddy Sandman Joe, and just went to town. I looked up my stream, the shark, no joke, and one stream got used 176,000 times. Go for it. I'll be here. Rebellion. Okay, I found the location in the painting. Rebellion. 
Repairer. It's got some tenacity. Careful, Isaiah. My moderator's gonna get you. Put you in timeout. Okay, seriously. I found the spot in the painting. What am I looking at here? Ah, there we go. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I know what to do with those other ones I saw before. Pet the moth. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. Okay, I now I know what to do with the other one. I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora! You're not gonna believe this! Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! Rebellion. I should have seen that. Alright, there's another one around here. I can't remember where it is, though. Where's that other one at? Before I go to my next place. I think it was upstairs somewhere. Repairing stuff, but Ooh, where am I? Rebellion. Aha. Akio. But there's a way to erase that thing. Where did I see that painting at? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've most. Now I'm in a place I've never been before. Rebellion. Aha! Now we're talking. Okay. I feel like I need to take a picture of this or something. Hey, there's a unicorn on it. Shun the non-believers. Alright. Let's see if we can figure this out. Now that I've got a picture of this, 
which is what I've been looking for. Think. Hold on, I've done this one. It's a puzzle. Okay. So the walrus is zero. No, wait. Leave that there. <laughs> My unicorn. That's the most basic unicorn one I have. There's another one coming. Wait, no. This one should be nine. So nine is this guy. Really? That's all I'm going to get? what it is no okay that's nine which means I don't understand Like this is so Rebellion. obvious. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, nine. Okay. Hmm. What am I missing here? Picture again. I'm trying not to look this stuff up. I don't want to cheat. Thank you. Wait, okay, this. Two plus blank plus, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on, now I think I'm getting it. Okay, so this little snake thing, that's three. So two plus three is five, which makes that five plus nine. Okay, so I need That's a two. I need the nine. Okay, that should be it. I don't understand! <sighs> I can't just walk away from it either. Emotional damage! Yes, yes, emotional damage. I can't just walk away from this. It's not my nature. All right. Nine is on top, but two. Two 
吃饭。Let me study this picture for a second. Two, nine, four in the middle. It's right in front of me, and I can't figure it out. So we need the three. Hold on. Three. That's three. Doesn't make sense. Okay, but how did I solve it? That's what I gotta know. I got the first part. And look at this picture again. I wonder, hold on, there was a nine in the middle. I bet there's subtraction involved. I wonder if the center number, okay. This tells me what the answer was, 14. The other one had two, uh, one, four, and then a missing part, and the other one had, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. There's subtraction involved. Okay. Well, at least I got it now. Well, hello. Oh, another one. All right. All right. All right. I'm getting there. Yeah. They will, uh, so they're not um, uh, considered affiliates yet, Isaiah. Uh, affiliates can do that kind of stuff. You have to have at least 50 followers first. They're trying to work their way up to that, and I've been trying to help them a little bit by raiding their streams. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can figure this out. There's nothing else around. What's this? Oh, nothing. Okay. So it looks like... I, I, I'm, I think I'm starting to figure it out, Nova. Don't tell me yet. Don't tell me. I know it has to do with math, and it has to do with addition, and I want to say something in the middle. I want to say that's subtraction from the sum of the addition. So, okay. Let me see if I can figure this out. Let me look at the picture I have. Just so everybody knows, I'm not cheating. If you can see this, I got a picture of the map I found to help me figure this stuff out. I'm not looking at anything else, because I hate that. Okay, so 13 looks like an owl, which is zero. 13 plus zero. All right, so we got 
the lizard, which is six. Uh, the little guy is five, so six and five. We got 11, so would that be four? Hold on. So four, yeah, this triangle, four would be... No, no. Okay, that guy. All right, so over here, 13 plus zero means that this has to be a five, maybe? A five is, okay. See if I got it. Yes! Victorious! I'm figuring it out. My personality tells me not to look up stuff, so I was like, I, I hate looking up stuff and trying to do that. I'd rather try to figure it out first until I lose my mind. Only then would I look that stuff up. Yeah, sure, go for it, Nova. I already got this far. Why not? Rebellion. Tatter top hat. Okay, I gotta check this out. Hang on, let me come back. Look at the door again. Well, there's nothing there. Now the door around it is uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way around. That I got. But there's another door over here. To me, it sounds like a simple math equation. For that one, the answers in the middle help you out, and you're supposed to get everything to equal zero in the end. Yeah, it's just addition. Yeah. Okay. Let me look at this one for a second. Reveal. All right, so basically on this one, the octopus is eight. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, the guy on... I'm looking at the top one. Okay, the top one, don't tell me. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's, wait, six? No. Legs, yeah, the legs. Hey, Ruby Steven. Also just count the heads or horns. Yeah, so that much I'm getting. All right, so don't, don't tell me. Let me figure this out. So we got six plus five. So we got 11. So this one over here should be wait I'm hitting the wrong button nope 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 oh crap don't tell me let me figure this out eleven No, it's not eight. That's uh, seven. Seven. One. Okay. The top one's throwing me off. Team, so we need... Zero, one, two... Three, four, five. Okay, so six and five. What am I missing? Oh, wait. Oh, 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 I know what I did. I was looking at it wrong. Yeah, there it is. The lizard. I keep forgetting that one starts with a zero. I'm getting it now. Yeah, I, I, I knew I'd get there. I'm a, I'm a guy that has to process for a minute, but then I'll figure it out. Thanks, though. I appreciate it. That's actually fun for me. And there's something over here as well. And I ain't gonna lie. I, have, I just feel like I'm barely getting started, and I freaking love this game. I love games with puzzles. Wait. 
Did I do everything in this room? Lumos. Yeah. The first one is zero. That's all. Remember the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what I kept messing up on. How far have you, uh, you guys gotten this game so far? Yeah, as you can see, I'm just getting started. In real life, I really want this cloak. Like, badly. Why do I still have Lumos on? Rebellion. Seven hours in? Yeah. I'll get there. <laughs> Don't worry. How inconvenient travel was Probably going to stream this some more tomorrow. Stream that long today? I was going to, but then I started working on my layouts. Uh, yeah, I just, I've had it for a couple of days, but I, I was waiting for today to start. I just, I was working on so many things on my laptop. I had to do so many updates and it just took me most of the day. So I got on late, but I will definitely be back on tomorrow. Oh, show. Rebellion. You can see why they put this, uh, why they uh, delayed this game a couple of times. They've put a lot of work into it. I like how you can change the appearance of things. The Dark Arts. Oh wait, wait, no, no, go back, go back. That's funny. What? I'm still going to go with my... You know what? Let's see. Yeah, why not? I miss. Oh. Yeah, I'm the same way, Ruby Steven. I do a lot of exploring. Uh, any game that's open world like this, I do that. I've done it with Skyrim, Cyberpunk, Fallout. I mean, you name it, I've probably done it. Ooh, another one. All right, here we go. I'm one of those random theater people who actually loves math, so let's see how we do. All right, so... Hold on. Rebellion. Oh, there's only one this time. Okay, interesting. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Uh eleven plus two. So we got thirteen. So it'd be eight. One zero one two. the spider say what okay 
I thought that was going to be easier. All right, so we got nine plus five. Is that right? Zero, one, two. Yeah, nine plus five, so we got 14. Three. Oh. I'm confused. Revelio. Oh, it's upstairs. Aha. Aha. Okay. I feel like an idiot. All right, so that's right. So we got to put uh, 9 plus 5, 14, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. It's Monster Zero. We need Monster Zero. There we go! A secret solver's tailor's hat. Rebellio. Oh my god. I actually want this hat. Is that weird? That's weird, right? But I like it. You know what, I'm actually going to keep that on for a little bit, just for fun. I could, I, I could get lost in this game for like a long time. Revelio. All right, gotta say, first night playing, I'm pretty impressed with this game. Yeah, it really is. I've I've just done a couple of duels and stuff so far, but that opening sequence was fun too. Let's go find me a wand. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. 
you must be eager to have your own I know I'm super excited and to see the I felt like a kid just getting sorted in my house good shall we set off I intend to give you a first-rate hogsmead experience <laughs> by the way Ruby Steven don't let the don't let this fool you the unicorn is a Gryffindor the player is a Slytherin even though I tested Gryffindor I chose my house yes I did I did I want to get all of the content I can. I had to break down and buy a second copy for my wife. She's she's desperate to play this, so she's going to play it on the PlayStation 5 while I play this on the PC. So basically, I'm never going to see the PS5 again. Rebellion. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better day in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Hydrate, bitch! Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm sure there's a lot of exploring to do here, but I'm really ready to go get my wand. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Great mistake. Uh, speaking of wand, I'm gonna go grab mine real quick. I feel like I need it with me. Be right back. Though I suppose you would not really call it. Elective Actually, hold on. When your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Uh, one second. Be right back. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Reveal your secrets. Reveal your secrets. All right, here is my wand for those that are curious. Ah, it's pretty cool. It's got runes on it. I don't know if you can see if the camera will pick it up. There's runes on the silver here. Maybe if I get out of the shot, it'll focus. <laughs> and the best camera in the world, but there's runes all on it. Really light. It's cool. I love how you can see through it, too, in uh, this part. Yes, I am a nerd. And yes, this teacher might teach with this on Monday. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> uh, this one actually is... Uh, I bought it because it was black and silver, and I love seeing the runes on it. And this does, there's no way the uh, camera get, does it justice. Um, but this is actually uh, Albus Dumbledore's before he became, uh, you know, headmaster. But the runes on it is what got my attention. That and the swirly, almost broken black parts to it. But if I, I don't think the camera is going to pick up these runes. Yeah. Anyway, I like this thing. I got we got a whole wall full of these things because we're big nerds. My wife's a huge Harry Potter fan. What they need is a Lord of the Rings game like this, or a Dark Tower like this. But you know, alas, I'll take what I can get. Or not Lord of the Rings, but a, you know, a Middle Earth type thing. Rebellion. Yeah, I would love for them to do a Dark Tower. But alas, I don't think that's gonna happen. They can't even get the, they can't even get the story straight on the screen. So. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. For anybody that's a Dark Tower Not fan, the gold, they'll never do it right until like HBO do does a series or something like, um, like a some Game of Thrones or something. I they gotta stretch go it out. It's too big of a story. The movie oh, wait, I want to oh, see, yeah. but only for one reason, and I can't say oh, it on the stream. The flies in this area. Hang oh. on a second. 
What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Ah. Ah, oh, that'd be cool with Mike Flanagan. I, I want to say, I never did watch the one with Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey. And the reason why is because, I mean, I, I'm sure it's fun to watch, but I'm almost a purist. And I'm not usually one to say that about the stories I read, but the books were so enthralling to me. And I just don't know how you can sum it up, but there's something, I can't say it on the stream because if my wife ever watches this, we're in the middle of the final book right now. She's listening to it on audiobook, and I'm listening to it for the second time. She's listening to it for the first time. So I'm just, yeah, I know I got to swap my screen. Uh, but there's something that happens near the end of the last book that makes me want to watch the movie, but I can't go any further than that. Anywho. Reveal your secrets. Yeah, Mike Flanagan, that'd be good. Oh, yeah. No, I've read the I've already read all the books. There's I know that part you're talking about where he says you could stop here. You could stop here and that would be your ending. We all know you're gonna keep reading. Okay, that's funny. Yeah, so we're, my wife and I are listening to it on audiobook, and we're on the uh, seventh and final book. Um, yeah, I I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it right now. Another time, Ruby Stevens. Maybe we can have a conversation on that, but I got to be careful. I'm going to have to tell her not to come in here and read the chat. <laughs> Don't watch this stream! From the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Rebellion. A little glitchy here. But no, when I when I read the book, I I was actually a fan of the ending. Um I'm just going to shut up. I, I can't do this. You're going to get me in trouble with my wife. <laughs> you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Prance who's been sugarfoot. That's a forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. Rebellion. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Yeah. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I felt that. Shibby, if there's ever any command, like the watch time thing and stuff, I, I don't know how to do that, but I'm willing to learn. I spent a lot of time learning that stuff today. I uh, see so you you got the unicorn one. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I'm Me too. surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle. Hmm. Lumos. No, nope, wrong one. Levioso. Oh no, the <laughs> Ruby Steven, no, I'm gonna be buried in this thing. It's 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 a foregone conclusion. Oh yeah, the timer's on the right side of the thing. And it's on every scene I do. For example, here are the rules. Reveal your secrets. Which has a timer. And that's what Shibby just posted in the chat. So it's an ongoing thing. It all started with a bet I made with my students. And of course I lost. And I'm a man of my word. I said I would do something. 
So it's on my live. It's on here. Down in the bottom corner. Reveal secrets. It's on every page. <laughs> Reveal secrets. Asylum mask. Hey, what am I missing here? It's like the medieval version of Hannibal Lecter. Some fava beans. Nice Chianti. Reminded me of Scorpion. Ha! <laughs> yes, I'm very lucky Rat Boy's playing COD right now. He's the one that got me stuck in this thing for a much longer time. Scorpion, yes. I miss Mortal Kombat. Get over here! Of course, I'm still partial to the original in part two. I grew up I grew up playing the one on Sega Genesis. Yes, that dates me. Give me the shrooms! Revelio. <laughs> oh, I was talking about Nintendo 64 oh, and all that earlier. Game. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. I wish I could stream my Super strange. Nintendo. Because I would take on I would challenge anybody to, to the original Mario Kart. You? You I love that game. I still play I that still game every once home. in a while. But it is beautiful here too. But on the Super Nintendo, not the, the Switch. Exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Burger time. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I played Burger Time for the first time on a regular Nintendo. He is the Hogwarts caretaker. But it was the so same uncle who owned the Atari. Hello, where I played Mr. Frogger. Pleasure. Frogger. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys. Ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Yeah, I've played it on the Switch, and uh, oh, Mr. Moon. it was fun, and I still remember all the twists and turns of it, but there's something about holding that Super Nintendo controller. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Hmm. What is this? There is much to see outside of the castle. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to be friends with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. I do kind of feel like a kid playing this game. I'm so excited. And the details. Here we are. Give me a wand and a butterbeer and I'm good. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. Yeah. Have you ever been to the Universal you Studios, Ruby Steven? The one in Florida and Orlando? Love it. But if you go, take some money okay. with you because you're going to want to spend it on everything. So 
Sorry. Yeah, I do too, Shibby. Badly. The one in California was okay, but once you've been to the one in Orlando, it's like not even close to being the same. Spellcraft, some seats, and a new wand. Yes. Of course, you will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be oh. able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Hang on a second, Ruby. Experience I got something to say about that. Your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. All right, Enjoy now. yourself. I will see you soon. All right, so I've been to Universal, Ruby Steven, and it's fun, and it's great, and it's one of those things you do, and the wand ceremony is pretty cool, but there's nothing like going to get your lightsaber at Disney World and actually going in and building your own. It is so much fun. I've got, I can't show you on the camera, but right here next to me, I've got five lined up on my wall right now. <laughs> And you can take them completely apart, change the kyber crystal in them uh, to any color you want. It's crazy. It's so much fun. The first time I did it, I'm not even going to lie. Hey, judge me all you want. I cried. <laughs> I think my wife's got video of it. Holy crap. Hairdressing salon, huh? telling you it's not cheap um but you're paying for the experience too no shibby i do not have the other half of his yet i've got hang on i'll just grab it real quick right here i have shadow malls shadow malls is right here and this thing is beautiful and it's so lightweight but the other half, the actual Darth Maul version that connects to it, I do not have it yet. But I've seen them connected down in Orlando. This one's cool because you can actually see the Kyber crystal inside. It's the only one that does that. It's the only one that Disney offers that shows the actual Kyber crystal on the inside. The camera doesn't do it justice. A unicorn wearing a Hogwarts robe. Yes! It doesn't get much more nerdy than this. What else am I forgetting? Hang on. <laughs> a unicorn wearing a Hogwarts cloak with a lightsaber come on guys come on it doesn't get much more nerdy than this the only thing i'm missing is the one ring oh, i'll have to put that back on the wall later all right where was i all right tomes and scrolls uh, i'm gonna go there first i know i should go get olivander's wand but the Superman cape is not on the back of this chair. It's on the back of my chair at school because I wanted to show it off to the kids. And sometimes I'll just roll from one side of the classroom to the other with it and the cape flies. So I was like, why not? So yes, I still have it. All right, I'm going to save Ollivanders for last. Rebellion. Ugh, all these locked doors. An inquiring mind. Hydrate, bitch! Yes, ma'am. Cool. I'll be here. Oh no, that cat's looking at me. I don't do that. Nope. Rebellion.
Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items. I want to grow like a beard like that. I just don't have the patience. It gets scratchy. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh, I can sell items. Okay. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I sell anything, hold on. Why didn't I put that on already? Let's look at what we have, shall we? Rebellion. That's not technically my shop, but will they get me for a game back here? My bad. My bad, bro. My bad.
Is the place up? Oh, the potions. Rebellion. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back and do all kinds of exploring to get inside these doors and stuff. Potions. Or sorcerer hat. Rebellion. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. Reveal. The secret. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and reveal secrets. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or. Come back another time if you're in a rush today. Hmm. I need the invisibility one. Oh, I'm so close to it. Oh, hold on. How'd that thought? What can I do for you today? I didn't mean to do that. What can I do for you today? Yeah, yeah. I started learning that a second ago when I sold the flat cap that I'm wearing. That was very handy to know. Uh, let's see. What was I doing?
All right, moment of truth. I'm going to get my wand. I thought I was going to get my wand. I'm coming for you, wand. Merlin, not again. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um. Just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes. It's about Just in time. time. Yes. Uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Yes, I did. Well, go ahead, swish. But back then I was a Gryffindor, so. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. I picked money on Wizarding World. Oh dear. It's been so long since I did it on Wizarding what World, I don't remember what I chose. I know it had unicorn uh, hair, ironically. Uh, and that was back in 2019. We'll find you something not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <laughs> This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, you get a little choice in the matter. How intriguing. But carefully go through all the options, okay. Oh, curious indeed. How intriguing. Every time he says that, it does not make me feel better. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Uh, 
I know classics you know, the way some people would go, but <laughs> hello again, Jesus. Curious indeed. Oh. Read all the options. Oh, I see. How intriguing. <laughs> Curious indeed. Oh my god, stop saying that! Curious indeed. I feel like I should... This should... Is it kind of like what I choose is going to like alter something in the future? Because the flexibility is like... How intriguing. Unbending, so it goes from pretty much unyielding all the way to quite bendy. Curious indeed. Red oak. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Oh, here we go. Well, I know some people would probably say get the unicorn hair, but I'm all about the phoenix. I, I, I That's like my favorite mythical creature of all time. No, I don't. Call with a strong <laughs> I draw the line at my wand. <laughs> I draw the line. How intriguing. Curious indeed. I know it's not that big of a deal, but it's like, it's my wand, you know? I just... <laughs> Oh my god. I'm ready to be done so he'll stop saying that. Curious indeed. Yeah, right. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. <sighs> Intriguing. Curious indeed. All right. I think I've got it narrowed down to the classic black and the soft spiral black. What do y'all think? How intriguing. I, always, I gotta go with the black one. It's just what I do.
Dark brown's not bad, but either the soft spiral or the classic. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Yeah, I'm going with the Phoenix Feather. I don't care if I am stuck in this unicorn until my death day. At the heart, I am a Phoenix. I believe in the Phoenix. All right. How I, I think I'm going with the Soft Spiral. Some of these, I wish they came in black. Yes, indeed. Like, I would totally take a ringed one. How intriguing. Okay, I gotta choose. I can't listen to this guy anymore. This one. <laughs> Alright, I'm going with it. Final answer. No phoning a friend. No whammies. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. I went 13, Ebony, uh, uh, and Phoenix. Uh, uh, 13's my lucky number, though, so I kind of went with that. How did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. Oh, you're giving each other the sus out. look. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. Some chapstick. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. A rib one in black. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught it. <laughs> I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> now I get all the sus looks. <laughs> you guys aren't right. Why'd you gotta take an innocent moment from me and make it? <laughs> Thanks for the slap. Why you gotta take this innocent moment from me and make it like that? For the briefest moment, I thought I was a child picking a wand, and then y'all had to go and do that. Don't make me destroy you. Yeah, yeah. Alright, where am I going next? Nova, he was already talking about. <laughs> You're not right, what, uh, Nova? <laughs> oh my God! You two behave now. Tip to see us in Raul's chat. Oh, I've been in his chat before. Not with you guys. I mean, it doesn't bother me at all. There we go. <laughs> Believe me, I'm no angel. <laughs> but you're Jesus. Come on now.
Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta add some more sound effects to mine. What am I forgetting? Oh. Oh, free for all? I love it. Almost seems like, yeah, that's worth better. Except I don't like the look of it. Yeah, I need you to tell me how to add the new commands. I've added a, I've added the basic ones, and the only one I've created myself was the unicorn one. But I don't know how to do any of that stuff, and I want to learn. Like bad, want to learn. Oh crap, the unicorn. I had, sorry, Nova, I had it set to, uh, hang on a second. <laughs> Hold the thought. What the heck? There you go. Now you can do it. wonder if Rat Boy will come in here and bother me before he gets off for the night. He usually does just to make sure the clock isn't low. But he's a douche! Yeah, I've got all kinds of drops for this game. Yeah, I know he's playing, but what I'm saying is he might drop in just to, you know, bug me right before he gets off for the night, because he knows, he always likes to check the clock. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Merlin's beard. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But... What say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty.
Revelio. Rebellion. Hello. Oh, come in! Come in! Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly! Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see hmm. why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? I don't even know what I just walked into. Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that. Muggle with consumption, sort of, death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too, if you'd like. Um, <laughs> you were in another chat for what now? <laughs> hey, what you do on your own time? What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? Oh, I see. Wow. It's the wine. <laughs> Revelio. Miss Peck from Brood and Peck said a customer lost a deer around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there, 
I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Oh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are! Ha! Huh, finally! I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. Rebellion. Sorry, bub. Yeah, but I can't open it. It's it's one of the one it's one of those white ones that has an eye on it. I have to have the invisible uh potion, which I don't know how to do yet. At least I don't think I do. Yeah, I haven't learned it yet. I just bought a thing that allows me to learn it or something, but... Dukes. your mind up. Rebellion. Sick of all these locked doors. Ah, 
I have everything. <sighs> I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. All right, some action. Keep trying to do stuff like Elden Ring. What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more. Hey, gum. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Did you two take on a yeah, Nova, uh, <laughs> I started my Twitch two years ago, but I didn't really do anything with it, so technically, I've had an account that long. I started it, my buddy talked me into coming over to do it on Facebook and YouTube. Didn't work out for me, so now I'm back on Twitch, and that's where I'm staying. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I will see what he wants. Repair us. Uh, Shibby, Bloodstone might have you beat. I'm not sure. Bloodstone pilots. Unless thing for officers. 
thing to worry about. Repairer. We're just talking about rebellion. There's another one of those chests, but I don't have the invisible spell yet. time for tea hello sir I don't believe we've met allow me to introduce myself Augustus Hill Clothia extraordinaire I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state I was happy to help frankly you deserve an order of Merlin but I can offer you something much more useful I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal right. today. Take your time. Hairstyle reminds me of somebody, but I can't quite place it. Wizard of Oz, that's it. Yep, that's what I was thinking of. I just couldn't place it. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most... That's cool too.
my shop at your leisure. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. So close. <sighs> I'll be back. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. <coughs> See you, Shibby. Thanks for coming in. You said you could get to the chop oh, this guy again. to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Oh, time, man. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophanes. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? 
I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Revelio. Thanks, Nova. Have a good night, man. See you next time. All right, stream. I'll be right back. Reveal your secrets. Reveal your secrets. Alright, I'm back. Alright, I'm gonna play a little bit longer. I might be calling it a night, but I need to get a couple more things done real quick. Then I will definitely be back on tomorrow. 
Rebellion. No, technically, I, did I go all the way across there? Rebellion. All right, how does one get up? That's how. Oh, come on. <sighs> All these locked doors. Getting kind of glitchy. Hasn't hardly done that tonight. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. See the outpost. Rebellion.
go about three more minutes, I'll crush, I'll go right across the five hour mark. I think that's a good place to stop for the night. Revenue. Do some more tomorrow. Want this four poster. All right. I think this is where I'm going to stop for the night. Reveal your secrets. <sighs> it's a good night. About a good five hours into the game. Somewhat. Pick it up tomorrow and go even further. All right. Thank you, everybody out there. Hope to see you all next time. Uh, none of the people I follow are online, so... I think I'm just going to end it for the night. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good night. Reveal your secrets. Reveal your secrets. On second thought, how much time is left? Two hours, 38 minutes? I gotta save that for next time. Wanna make sure it's like that for the next stream. I'm gonna get out of this thing one way or the other. Alright, now I'm gone. Take it easy. Reveal your secret. Reveal your secret.